Fox 66 News with Jennifer Mobilia, meteorologist Tom Atkins, and Jay Pushkar with sports. This is Fox 66 News, first at 10. The closure of Interstate 90 in New York and the ripple effects. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Mobilia. Western New York is bracing for a massive lake effect snowstorm tonight. A storm the National Weather Service says could bring historic snowfall amounts to the city of Buffalo. Now, thankfully, we are not going to get the snowfall totals that Buffalo is expecting, but the storm there is already impacting travel here in Pennsylvania. Matt Mathias is live by Interstate 90, and Matt, some ice have been banned on 90 from Rochester to the Pennsylvania state line, right? Absolutely, Jen, and drivers are already having to find alternative routes to reach their destinations, with semi-truck drivers mostly being impacted. Now they'll have to take new routes around residential areas, which will add time to their trips. As a massive lake effect snowstorm begins to roll into Buffalo, New York, truck drivers here in Pennsylvania are already feeling the impact. Really, the roads haven't been bad until you get to here where I actually run into the snow. Beginning at 4 p.m. Thursday, all commercial vehicles were banned on the thruway from the Pennsylvania border to Rochester, New York, a total distance of 132 miles. Normally, I just run right straight across I-90, but now I got to take the southern route, which is across 86, take that over to 15, and run that north, and then cut up through the back roads all the way up towards Rochester, so yeah. or Syracuse. But it adds about three hours to my drive, and it's not as good a running as what the interstate or what the toll road is. Some drivers will take the Southern Tier Expressway to get through Western New York. Others will venture down back roads through small communities like Northeast. It throws us off because we're used to sometimes we used to travel in just one route, it's trying to stay on the highway. They close the highways now. We got to try and figure out an alternate route. Sometimes it's not the best because now you're going through a small town or something like that. Big rigs driving through small towns certainly isn't ideal. That's because residential roads aren't usually built to handle the weight of a fully loaded semi truck. And given the turning radius of 18 wheelers, navigating through small communities can be tricky. If I can't go that way, it might gonna affect my day. You know, uh, but if I can, if there are alternate routes, you know, I, I just take the alternate routes and hopefully I can get to where I need to get to about two o'clock in the morning. Now, a state of emergency has been declared for Erie County, New York. That's Erie County, New York. Um, also, there is a driving ban in effect for all of that Erie County, New York, with only emergency vehicles being prohibited prohibited on those roads. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Matt.